We were very excited to be a, a launch product uh, on the iPad. Uh, what we've done is we've created a very unique experience that takes advantage of the full size of the iPad, the touchscreen interactivity, and really lets you have a visual way of searching for restaurants all in real time and allow you to even email those results out just like you were tearing a page out of a you know, traditional Zagat print guide. If you've purchased this on the iPhone, it's a $9.99 application. And if you buy it on the iPhone, you get it for the iPad. If you buy it for the iPad, you also get it on the iPhone. So it's a universal application, um, which is great because a lot of applications on the iPad will sort of will ask you for a separate fee for that iPad version. And we're actually just bundling it together. So if you buy one app, you get both. So you guys have integrated it with Google Maps, or just explain how that works? Sure. So basically what we've taken is we've taken our, our Zagat-rated restaurants, and we've actually overlaid that on an interactive Google Map. And you can pinch and zoom to browse around any city, or you can just jump to a city uh, you know, from our location selector. And then as you tap on each little Zagat pin, you'll see the full restaurant ratings and reviews pop up and you can actually tap on that restaurant to get to the full details, see all the information like uh, business hours, is it uh, child friendly, or any of our other features. Great, all right, let's take a look. All right. So what you're seeing right now is a view of zagat go for iPad and we're actually showing nearby restaurants uh, using Wi-Fi triangulation but as well, I can move anywhere on the map and automatically you're going to see restaurants start to populate in real time. Now, search is real time as well, so I can take something like cuisines. And as soon as I hit Asian, you notice that all the pins dropped off that weren't matching that particular criteria. And I could start to go and add things back on, like French or hamburgers or Greek. And now you're going to start to see in real time everything populates. Now, if I'm you know, discerning about the food rating, I can go and do something like this. Now, anything that's at a 20 or above disappears, and now I have my own custom search. If I want to take a look at the restaurant, I can just tap on a pin, okay? Or I can even actually take a look at this in our, what we call our book view, which should be very familiar for anyone who has uh, ever seen a Zagat guide before. And it's got great scannability. It's at that classic layout. You can actually just swipe through, and take a look at results. And you can actually email those results out, just like you're tearing a page out of a book. And you can send a quick email off to someone if you say you're planning dinner with friends or family. And you say, hey, can you pick from these restaurants? These sound good tonight. You can also sort this by food decor, service, and costs. And of course, if I want even more information, if I just tap on one of these, card flips over, I get all the details including the full review, uh, hours, um, dress code, do they accept major credit cards, and any features. And I can swipe through these as well. And animates just like that. So I can see that this restaurant is child friendly. If I want I can reserve a table uh, via open table and I can actually add this to my list of favorites just by tapping on a star just like that. And you have other cities? Uh, yes, absolutely. So I can even interact with this map. If I wanted to, I could fly out to another city just like this. Or I can actually just go and from our drop down. In London, let's say. Let's pick London. So now we just went New York to London uh, instantaneously. Mm -hmm. Now restaurants are populating, and let's say I'm looking for something by the river. Now I zoom in, automatically populates as a GAT rated restaurants in the area. Fantastic.